Hey guys, welcome back to Man Cave Collectibles. Got a really special one today. Uh, we've got the brand new Colossus Sideshow Premium Format figure. This is the exclusive version. Uh, he did come in today. Very excited about him, so I want to go ahead and try to get a review done. Uh, this exclusive version is currently uh, a wait list only on Sideshow. Uh, the Collector's Edition is available um, if you're still interested in him, but Otherwise, you certainly could get on that wait list for this exclusive version. Uh, the exclusive version, we'll talk about that a little more uh, in a little while, but it basically the difference is uh, you get Lockheed the Purple Dragon. Um, so jumping right into things, let's go ahead and we'll take a look at his box. We got a really nice box with um, some product uh, images here on the front of Colossus himself. You got his name in all caps uh, down the right-hand side of the box. Sideshow's logo, the premium format figure there. So we do have kind of a wraparound um, box art here. Wraps on around to the back side where we have uh, the, what looks kind of like the chest area uh, of Colossus X-Men uh, outfit, his uh, costume that he goes to battle in. So really nice. I uh, got a little bit of uh, box damage here uh, you know it's ups so you, you kind of you get what you can what you can with those guys he did arrive uh with uh, no damage that we've been able to see up until this point uh, minus just a really uh, small paint flaw there on his arm which is really not noticeable kind of covered by the gauntlet um, but that is our box uh, and looking at the box contents i'll go ahead and throw up an image here for you uh, you'll see that um, we've got Colossus laid out in a few parts uh, with his head uh, Lockheed. His body is one full piece. Uh, his hands and gauntlets each are additional pieces. And we have our Danger Room base uh, there with um, kind of what looks like a torn up, you know, crushed, uh, you know, spike ball. And then we have some additional uh, torn up metal pieces. Uh, that we will be able to assemble on that base to add a little detail to it. So let's go ahead and get him out of his box and set up here on our table and take a look. So we got our Colossus assembled and on our table, and I can tell you this guy looks fantastic. Uh, no other word to describe him. Uh, just a fantastic piece that Sideshow has done here. Uh, this piece uh, really means a lot to me because Colossus is uh, one of my top five all-time uh, comic book characters. Uh, ever since I was a kid, uh, he's always been one of my top five, and uh, early, early on in my adult collecting years, I had purchased a uh, Colossus uh, Code of Lucia, um, fine art statue and messed around and sold uh, the statue. I thought I was going to go a different route with my collection, sold the statue, and now that statue rarely comes available, uh, and when he does, he's going for 500 bucks or so, uh, you know, for a 1-6 scale. So when this Sideshow Premium Format uh, came up for pre-order, I immediately jumped on it and really, really happy to have it, especially now knowing that the exclusive version uh, is a waitlist only. So let's talk about Colossus as we do with 
a lot of our statues and just kind of who he is and where he first appeared. So Colossus first appeared in Giant Size X-Men number one from 1975. He was created by Lynn Wing and Dave Cockrum. He's first seen on the cover uh, of number one. Um, we receive our first real look at him about midway through the book. He's working on the family farm and his sister, who later on uh, in time, we uh, figured out that that was, uh, you know, magic, uh, his sister, but he did save her from a runaway tractor uh, on the farm. And he revealed his powers to us there. Uh, it was the first time we was able to see him uh, reveal those powers. His powers really revolve around his ability uh, to turn his skin into a hardened steel-like substance. Uh, and he obviously super strength and increased durability goes right along with that. So just a little brief um, synopsis of Colossus and, uh, and who he is. Let's jump right on into uh, taking a good close look at this statue. All right, guys, so we want to take a little more detailed look at our statue today. Um, we'll start with uh, the base and we'll work our way up. So the base, this was designed and intended to be a danger room uh, oriented statue. Uh, that was the design on it. Uh, you can tell by the flooring, uh, it has kind of a blue wash to the cracks of uh, the danger room floor. Uh, the a big spike ball, uh, shards of metal that have been torn up or destroyed. Uh, one really neat feature uh, and, and detail that they put on here that I didn't even know about until I was assembling them is right below his foot, uh, there are three claw marks through that steel ball. So we can tell that's just a sign that Wolverine has been in this danger room with Colossus as well. So a really cool design. For the base uh, would be nice if they kind of had that theme going forward with a lot of the X-Men that they put out. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I know some of them have already come out. They've had Sentinel hands. and I guess that, that could still go with the Danger Room theme as, you know, they could portray a, a Sentinel in the Danger Room. So that's that could work out as well also. As we move on up, and this is one of the brightest spots to me of the statue, are the sculpting of the boots and his upper suit, the, the underwear area, I guess you could say here, of the upper suit. These are so well sculpted uh, that they appear almost to be like a soft good uh, material, uh, especially uh, up in the underwear area where you have uh, the seams for that in the boot area uh, where the seams are. It is just phenomenal detail and sculpt work here uh, that Sideshow gave us. So very, very happy with that. We do get a little bit of his uh, metal skin uh, here on the legs in between uh, the upper suit and the boots. We have sculpted in uh, seams in the metal, just like we would see in the comic book. One thing they did with the metal that I really like is it doesn't have a super, super shiny look to it. Uh, it actually looks a lot better even in person to me than it did in the promotional images from Sideshow. They've kind of put a gray wash over it, almost giving it a used or worn type of feeling. And it looks really, really nice. Uh, a lot of details in the curvatures of the muscles, the sculpting of the muscles they added almost like some black wash into those areas. So it looks really fantastic. As we move on up, we get to the belt. He's got his classic X-Men belt with the X logo there. Looks really nice. The detail is perfection. Uh, the paintwork on this, again, I can't really find any flaws. Uh, as you would expect with you know, an almost $700 statue. As we move on up, we get into the upper area of the uh, his X-Men suit. Again, the same type of sculpt work that we saw in the boots. We see here in the upper portion of his uniform, his X-Men uniform. Lots of detail. This is sculpted to follow the lines of his musculature. Uh, looks really nice. They kind of uh, did some 
uh, almost like an orangey yellow uh, to kind of show the definition there down his back. Looks really good. Moving on back around, we got his face. The face is classic Colossus. It's perfect. Uh, I think it's a very serious uh, face. He's on a mission, uh, or he just finished, uh, you know, his danger room session, and uh, he's kind of, you know, letting you know, hey, I'm finished. I'm done. I've destroyed everything you threw at me. That's kind of the the face that he's making at this point. Now, it would have been really cool to get an additional face sculpt. I would have liked to. I like a lot of times when we get kind of that serious face and then we get like a screaming face or an angry face, uh, kind of in battle type face. So, you know, this is what we got. I'm okay with that. They decided it's from an exclusive standpoint to go with the lock key versus an additional head sculpt. So I'm okay with that. Uh, you know it going in, so it is what it is. But the face sculpt looks excellent. The paintwork is phenomenal. Um, the hair is perfectly done. It's exactly what you would imagine. Uh, Colossus to look like. The last thing we'll talk about is the exclusive portion of this statue. So it is Lockheed. Uh, Lockheed is a pet for Kitty Pride. Uh, he has kind of been a staple in the X-Men mansion and, and around the X-Men for a while now and they decided to throw him in. As we know Kitty and uh, Peter uh, or better known as Colossus, uh, they have their relationship uh, that has been ongoing for years and has evolved into different uh, types of relationships all the way up to, I guess, marriage at this point. Um, but Lockheed, they decided to throw him in with Colossus since Kitty Pride has really not gotten her own statue. You do get a portion of her in the Juggernaut uh, statue that Sideshow has done. So it'd be cool to have her to go with this as well. Um, so something to look out for if you ever uh, find uh, one of uh, you know her on sale. Uh, that's kind of a, just an upper body, uh, kind of from the shoulder up. Uh, it'd be cool to pick that up to be able to combine it with this statue also. So there's our lock key. Looks really nice. Lots of detail. He's very lightweight. Um, I'll be honest. I'm not 100% sure what he's made of. I don't know if he is uh, made of the same material as Colossus. Uh, or if it's more of a plastic material, but he is extremely light, um, and he just basically sits on his shoulder uh, via a magnet, and you just kind of fit him into place, and he just sits there. So he looks good. I, I like him. I like having Lockheed. That's kind of a really odd, uh, exclusive piece to go with the statue, in my opinion, but it looks really nice, and, and I actually like it even more now seeing it than I did when I originally pre-ordered the statue. So that's just kind of a quick look at our Colossus uh, statue, kind of up close look uh, with some, some additional pictures in there. Uh, we'll do one last thing. I want to compare him to the other uh, Sideshow premium format figure I have, which is Bane, just to do kind of a size comparison for if any of you guys already have Bane and you want to just kind of compare how big is this guy. Uh, so we'll go ahead and throw Bane up beside him now. All right, guys, just a real quick size comparison for you. Um, we do have Bane here in our shot, and I'm super nervous about my table having all this weight on the table. So we're going to do this really fast. We can see here that Bane is massive. Uh, there's really little comparison as far as the size of these two guys. Uh, Bane's you know, arms and biceps are the size of... Uh, Colossus torso. So that's a that's a real quick uh, explanation and size comparison for you on these two guys. Uh, Bane is a heavier statue as well, uh, which you can obviously see just by the bulk of him uh, as in comparison to Colossus. So I hope that helps you guys a little bit as far as the size for Colossus. Um, and it obviously shows us the size of Bane if these are both quarter scale statues. So uh, that's it for our video today. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, check out some of my other videos, like and subscribe. And until next time.